Hey guys, welcome back. This is Saif with another tutorial from tech for all In this tutorial, I will show you guys how to edit or customize the Snap Layout in Windows 11. Let's start. Let me show you what is a Snap Layout in Windows 11. Whenever you open a window and you want to maximize it, whenever you hover your mouse to the Maximize button, here you can see this is called a Snap Layout. Using the Snap Layout, you can customize and reorder the current open windows. Basically, in Windows 11 settings, you are not able to customize those layouts, but you can customize it using a third-party application by the name of Power Ties. Open Microsoft Store and search for Power Ties. This is the application that you need to install. Select the application, then click on the install button to install it. As I have already downloaded the application, I will not install it again. After you have installed the application, open the start menu and search for power ties. Open the application. For the first time, you need to run the application as administrator. In the general tab, scroll down and click here, restart power ties as administrator. In the user account control, click on yes. Now let's maximize the power ties layout and then click on the fancy zones menu. In the fancy zones, first you have to enable it. By default, it will be enabled. If it is not enabled, all you need to do is toggle it on. This application has lots of settings, which I will not cover in this video. I will cover a few basic of them. The first thing you need to do is to create a snap layout. Click on this icon to launch the layout editor. By default, you will have a few templates. I recommend that you create a new one. Click on the create new layout. Select grid and give it a name. Click on the create button to create a new layout. Now create the layout according to your like. After you have created the layout, click on the Save and Apply button. The new layout is created. Now let's minimize all the layouts. Now whenever you open a new application, for example, let's open a new file explorer and you want to drop it in the new snap layout. Press Shift from your keyboard and drag the application and drop it in the zone that you want. Point to be noted that all the applications might not be snapped or fix themselves inside the zoom that you have created. For example, let's open the Microsoft Store. Let's minimize it a bit. Now let's drop it in the zoom 6. Now, as you can see, guys, it has not fixed itself into zoom 6. Let's drop it in the zoom 3. Here, as you can see, that it's not compatible and it does not decrease the size according to zoom 3. Now let's create a new canvas. Canvas will enable you to have modern layout and will increase your productivity. Open the Microsoft Power Toys, click on the Launch Layout Editor. To create a new canvas layout, click on the Create New Layout button, select Canvas, give it a name, and then click on the Create button. A new canvas will be created. Select the canvas and you can customize it or make it large or small by hovering your mouse to the corner, select it and drag and drop it or decrease and increase it in the size. You can create a new canvas by clicking on this plus button and then customize it. After you have done the modification, click on the save and apply button. The canvas that is selected will be automatically activated. Let's minimize all the windows by pressing Windows and D from the keyboard. Let's open a new file explorer. This time, whenever I press the shift button and drag the file explorer, you can see that I can drop it inside one of the canvas. For example, I will drop it on the canvas one. I will open a new file explorer and drag it and then drop it in the canvas five. Oops, it went to the canvas too. Let's drag and drop it on canvas 5. Let me show you a quick setting which will help you very much. Open the Power Ties menu, scroll down, under Windows, enable this option. 
restore the original size of window when unsnapping. This setting will help you that whenever you drag the application out of the canvas or the snap layout, it will automatically go back to its original size. Now, let me show you how you can edit or delete a canvas or a snap layout. Open the power ties again, the scroll up, open the layout editor. Simply right click on the canvas or a snap layout, select delete to delete a canvas or a snap layout. If you want to delete it, click on the delete button or click on the cancel button to cancel this operation. You can also rename it by right clicking on it and then select on edit and provide a new name for it. For example, I will rename it to Snap Layout 2. From the shortcut, you can select that which of the numeric keys should be the shortcut for Snap Layout 2. If you want to edit the layout, click on this button, customize it, and then click on Save and Apply. You can also modify or customize the space around zones and highlight distance by pixels. All you need to do is input a number that you want, and then click on Save button. Let's close the layout editor and go through other settings. Currently, the shortcut to activate or deactivate the snappy zone is Windows key plus Shift plus B. If you want to edit the shortcut, click on this icon and create a new shortcut. Point to be noted that the only shortcuts which will be valid is Windows key, Control, Alt, or Shift. For example, I will create a new shortcut and I want the Windows button plus Alt button and then plus N. This will activate and deactivate the fancy zones. Click on the Save button to save the shortcut. Whenever you scroll down in the zone appearance, you can see that currently the zone appearance is system default. If you choose it to custom colors, you can hide or show the zone numbers. You can increase and decrease the zone opacity. You can change the highlight color. You can change the inactive zone color. You can change the border color. And you can change the numbers color. Furthermore, if you scroll down, you will see the Windows stitching, which is turned on. If you turn this option on, Windows will shift the current automatically application and will shift it to the next zone. If you want to change the shortcut, click on this button. Point to be noted that the only shortcuts which are accepted in here is Windows key, Control, Alt, and Shift. I will not change the shortcut and let's check that whether it works or not. This time I will open a new file explorer and I will drag it, for example, in Zoom 4. Whenever I press Windows plus page down, I am not able to shift it from one zone to another zone. Let's open the power toys again. I will enable the override snap zone. Let's minimize it. Now let's check that whether I can move it. Yes, now using the shortcut buttons, I can move the application from one zone to another zone. Heading down to the next setting, which is excluded application. If you don't want an application to be used in the snappy zones, all you need to do is write down the name of the application with the extension in the excluded apps. For example, I want the Chrome application to be excluded from the fancy zones. Now it will not be enabled in the fancy zones. And that's all for today, guys. I hope this video have helped you. Comment down below if you need any help and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Thumbs up if you like the video and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Currently, we are closing to 1000 subscribers, which will help us to enable the monetization on our channel. So click on the subscribe button. I will catch you very soon with another tutorial. Till then, have a nice time.